Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here with the final frontier of Rust. A frontier that keeps getting pushed back every week. A bit like the console version. <laughs> but this time I have a lot of things to show and tell in various stages of work in progress. As you can see, first of all, this week on staging, it seems we've been gifted the gift of a new hazmat skin in the form of a cobalt spacesuit. Not sure I'd trust it in a vacuum chamber, and the poo reservoir and fart filters might need changing, but if you'd like to try it out on staging and you're an admin or owner, then you can give yourself one with Give Spacesuit. Surprisingly. For all purposes, it's the same as a normal hazmat in protection and everything, so really it's just a skin, but exactly how and when we'll get one by conventional means is still under wraps. And does this mean more skins could be on the event horizon? No. As we all know, the first rule of Secret Lab Chair Club is don't tell anyone about the Secret Lab Chair. Unfortunately, thanks to the commits, the cat is now firmly out of the bag and has started eating the beans that were also spilled, which will probably give it diarrhea later. Also, it wasn't hard to figure out how to spawn it. Would you have guessed Spawn Secret Lab Chair? Well done if you did. Either that or you can just access it in the items tab. The description says it's a luxurious, comfortable chair for long sessions of CCTV watching and it does give you 100% comfort, just like a normal one. But how am I supposed to reach the lappy from here? I'm not stretch flipping Armstrong. Although I might be Neil Armstrong. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Question is, does the secret lab chair mean there's a secret lab? And what impact might this and the spacesuit have on the law? I mean... At least it's confirmed now that Cobalt are from the US, which is what I said in the first place. Also, why are we getting these now? Where will we get them from? Are they a seasonal thing? Stay tuned for answers when they happen. The secret lab chair may not be much of a secret, but the team are succeeding at keeping a few others from us, as all of these blurred out commits attest to. One thing that does seem to be next, though, is an elevator block, which I mentioned recently, and this is exactly what it sounds like. A new base building item that acts as a lift between your many floors, if you have any of those. Personally, I'm perfect. It should be on staging next week sometime for us to try out, which means it'll definitely be in the next patch in October, and a few things we know about this block from the commits already are... It will require power, it can be deployed on a floor, foundation or floor frame, it'll have up and down buttons and can be called to a floor. It looks like it'll be made of wood, have a fence and will crush to death anyone stupid enough to stand under it. So does this herald the arrival of a new type of trap bass video? What about lift music? Well, talking of that, the voice props branch is alive and kicking at the moment and whatever it ends up adding to the game, it does seem that part of it will involve a boom box, the model for which I showed you quite a while ago now. What we do know is that this item will use power and have an on-off toggle switch as standard. Jolly good, but that's about it for now. The command world.rendermap can now be used on staging and produces a high-res PNG of whatever server you're on, minus the grid or any text and markers. Also, it seems anyone can use it, so you don't have to be an admin. You'll find these files in your Rust install folder. All we need now are map tables, so we can plan out walks in the countryside and stuff. In other changes, deep water decay was adjusted for boats, i.e. for when they're parked near an oil rig, and they will now start decaying here after 45 minutes instead of 10. Although this can be adjusted by server owners with the deep water decay minutes convar. There were various fixes over the last week, including ones for chat messages occasionally getting hidden, kayaks not decaying at the intended rate, pass-throughs not showing for windmills, solar panels and fuel generators, and some dodgy colliders around a couple of doorways at the airfield. Also, recycler rounding was adjusted so there won't be a benefit to recycling some stackable items individually anymore. Destroyable road signs are almost upon us, they missed the boat last month, but we should be able to harvest them for pipes and road signs soon. Shock horror. There's also more progress on missions, possible AI improvements, and weather, with commits confirming that the latter will most likely now include snow, auroras, lightning, and smarter rain, which hopefully means less drops in frames. Please let me know your thoughts and what's keeping you up at night with excitement down below. Sub to the channel for regular things and leave a like if you appreciated this vid. There are many places you can enjoy me on the internet, such as live waffling on Twitch and staying up to date with my content on Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group. Thank you to my patrons for their continued support and I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Although I might be Neil Armstrong, I don't know anymore. <laughs>